hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install and run mac os sonoma on vmware now i've made lots of videos covering this before now but this is going to be a little different this should work for either amd or intel based processor and you should also be able to log in with your icloud and use all apple services now the first thing we have to do is head to our browser and then search for vmware workstation player and then click on the link to download vmware workstation player now click on products and then select workstation player under desktop hypervisors click on download for free and then here we can select the latest version and then click on go to downloads right here and then click on download now under windows to download vmware workstation player for windows and it should start downloading after downloading VMware Workstation Player, we also have to download Auto Unlocker, which is going to let us run Mac OS on our VMware Workstation Player. So let's open a new tab and then search for Auto Unlocker. And then you can see the link to Polo Projects Auto Unlocker. I'll also provide this link in the video description so you can head directly to this page. Now, by the right, you should see releases. So click on the latest release you can find there. And then download Unlocker right here. We also need to download Mac OS Sonoma ISO file which we are going to use for the installation. I will also provide the download link in the video description so you can head directly to the page and then download. You can see the file size about 14.8 GB. And then after downloading macOS Sonoma ISO file, we also need a text file which contains information we are going to use later on in the video. The text file contains modifications which we are going to use to get iServices working. It will be provided in the video description so you can copy it directly from there or maybe just download the file and then open it directly in your PC. We'll get to this part but let's close it for now. After downloading everything, we can close our browser. And then open our download folder so this is vmware player this is mac os sonoma iso file this is our text file which we're going to use to get iservices running and this is auto unlocker first let's install vmware by double clicking on it next next accept the terms and then next 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 and then install and we are done with the installation so click on finish now open vmware workstation on your desktop and then we select use vmware workstation player for free and then continue so here we are we can create a new virtual machine by clicking on create a new virtual machine and then for the disk image file, click on browse and then head to your download folder and then select Mac OS Sonoma ISO, open, click on next. Now when we click on next, we can see Microsoft Windows, Linux and others, but you won't be able to find Mac OS here. So this is when we have to run Auto Unlocker, which is going to allow us to install Mac OS Sonoma. So let's go back, close VMware Workstation Player head back to our download folder and then extract unlocker with winrar or any other file extractor open run unlocker okay so here we go select download tools if it is not selected already and then click on patch now this should take a while to download the packages and patch but you just have to wait and the patch has been completed now click on ok let's close this and then open vmware player again now let's create a new virtual machine and then select installer disk image file browse and then we select mac os sonoma iso file open next and here we go we can now see apple mac os x as an option 
click on it and then select mac os 14 which is mac os sonoma next and then let's call our machine mac os sonoma you can call it whatever you want and then the location right here is the directory where you want to install your machine you could set it to wherever you want next and then set the size i would recommend around 80 gig or above but in my case i'm gonna give it 100 gig which should be more than enough and then split virtual disk into multiple files next customize hardware now the memory here is your ram which you can increase to whatever you want in my case i have 16 gigs of ram so i'm gonna allocate around 5.7 gigabytes which should be okay go to processor and then set the number of cores i can also run up to eight so i'm gonna allocate three and then we can click on close finish so we've successfully created a new virtual machine now if you're using an amd processor then you have an extra command to run so if we head back to our download folder we should find a file called smbios.txt which if we open we can see modifications for amd processors only you can see it down here now to find out if you're using an intel processor or an amd processor hold ctrl shift escape and then go to performance click on your cpu and you should see your cpu name right there in my case i am using an intel processor so i don't need to modify my configuration file but if you're using an amd processor then you need to copy this copy everything there and then locate where your machine is installed so we can click on edit virtual machine settings go to options and you should find your working directory this is where your machine is running from so let's locate that folder and then you should find a configuration file you can see the type which is vmware virtual machine configuration right click and then open with notepad okay okay so you can see configuration right here at the end just paste the lines there and then save but since i am using an intel processor i'm not going to do that this is only for those using amd based processors so let's ctrl z to undo that and then we can close this close and then close this for now now let's click on play virtual machine to begin the installation okay so we have to select a language for the installation continue now go to disk utility so we can erase the disk before we install mac os sonoma continue now you should find vmware virtual sata hard drive media it should be around whatever size you specified now I'll click on erase and then we can call it whatever we want i'm just going to call it mac os 14. make sure the format is set to apfs and then erase click on done when you're done with that and then let's close this now go to install mac os 14 beta continue continue agree to the terms agree and then select the drive we erased earlier mac os 14 or whatever name you gave to it continue and it should start installing now this should take around an hour or less it all depends on the specs of your pc and how much resources you are located it may restart severally but just leave it to run and the installation is completed now we have to set up based on our personal preference now this may be slow and this is due to the display graphics memory we're going to adjust that later but let's just continue with the setup we have to skip signing with our Apple ID for now since we haven't generated our SMBIO, so click on setup later. Enter your full name and the password which you're going to use to access your machine and then continue. 
now choose between the light and the dark mode and then continue and we've successfully installed macOS Sonoma on our VMware player now we can go to about this Mac and you should see that we are running the latest version of macOS which is currently macOS Sonoma now we have few issues we need to address First, the graphics memory is set to 3 megabytes, which makes our machine extremely slow. If we open a web page or try to do anything on this machine, it is extremely slow. And secondly, we are using a randomized serial number, which isn't what we are supposed to be using. So we have to generate unique serial for our machine. And then we also have to increase the graphics memory. So let's close this and then eject the ISO file from our desktop. Now go to player up here and then go to manage and you should see install VMware tools. Click on it and then install VMware tools. Continue. Install. Enter your password to confirm you're the one performing this action. Install software. Okay. Now open system settings. So we need permission else we won't be able to run this software. So open system settings and then navigate down. And you should find system software from developer VMware was blocked. And then let's allow this. And then enter your password again to confirm. Now click on not now. Close this. And you can see this is successful. Now let's restart. And then log in with your password and it's a lot faster now now let's go to about this mark and you can see the display is now set to 128 megabyte which is way way faster now let's close this and then head on to change our mark syria so let's head to our safari browser and then search for clover configurator Now click on the link to Marquee 100 projects and then download Clover Configurator. Then we can close our browser and then open Clover Configurator from our download folder. We are getting an error. Click on OK and then open System Settings again. Go to Privacy and Security. Scroll down and then open anyway Clover Configurator. Enter your password to confirm and then open now let's view this full screen now go to sm bios and then right here you can see this button right here click on it and then select imac pro one comma one so you should find it somewhere around here now this is the profile we'll be using now we need our sm bios file in our download folder so let's head back to our download folder and this is the file right here, SMBIOS, which we need. So the first thing we have to copy is our board ID. And that is the board ID right here. So let's copy that. Head to our notepad. And then paste it right here. The next thing we need is our serial number. Now click on generate new to generate a new serial number and then we can copy that as well. Next we need ROM and MLB. So let's head to ROT variables and then you can see MLB right here copy and then paste it as well in your notepad file and then generate a ROM copy and then paste it as well now we can shut down our Mac OS machine.
let's just delete this now let's head to our vmware configuration file which we edited earlier in my case this is it it may be different for you depending on where you are running your machine from to confirm that just open vmware click on your machine and then click on edit virtual machine settings go to options and you should see the directory right here then you can locate it so let's close this Now this is a configuration file you can see macOS Sonoma we type VMware virtual machine configuration file so let's right click and then open with notepad now search for firmware and you can see firmware equal to EFI let's paste everything we modified right there right click copy and then let's paste it there next we search for ethernet and you can see ethernet connection type set to NAT, and the address type set to generated now change it from generated to static scroll down and you should also see ethernet 0 dot generated address and ethernet 0 dot generated address offset now change this generated address to just address so we remove generated there and then for the ethernet generated address we have to change the first three values with the official mac network address and this is how it looks like so in my case i'm going to be using 0003 93 you can use anything else on this list and then change ethernet 0 dot generated address offset let's remove this and then change it to check mac address equal to force now we can save and then close the configuration file close open VMware and then run our machine again now login with your password and then we can head back to about this mark and you can see the serial has changed to the new serial we used and now we can sign into our Apple account, use iMessage, FaceTime and every other Apple services. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.